Hi guys, this is Mia from Mimo Design Laser Falls. This is my last uh, edition of the Valentine spinners for this year. Uh, I chose to um, take inspiration in my ch chocolate boxes from last year. So you have a I love you and happy Valentine's Day front. Uh, you have two sizes and you have the options between a scored wheel, uh, sorry, an engraved wheel or a scored wheel. Um, to be honest, this uh, engraving didn't turn out super great on my small version because the lettering is kind of small on this one. So I would suggest the scored version. If you don't know how to score, I made a blog post on All Stars Design that you could go in and watch. I'll not show you how I painted these because I already did, but these are stains and this one is uh, made with acrylic paint markers. Um, you could uh, go in to my YouTube channel or my files, uh, sorry, helping group Laser with Mimo Design, uh, where I have a bunch of uh, tutorials on finishing. But for now, I wanted to show you how to assemble. Uh, once you've cut your file, depending if you want the cupid lever or the hard lever, both versions are included as well. And I have hangers and regular round baggers that can be used with magnets. Um, both the larger and smaller version has the three layered hearts inside the cutout, uh, just to save a little bit of material. You don't have to use the layered hearts, you could paint these uh, scored indications instead if you like. There's a ton of possibilities to um, make these as you wish. But for assembling, you'll have the front, the wheel and the back, depending if it's round or the one with hangers. So what you want to do, once you've cut the file, is to sand the wheel pretty good on both sides, sides uh, so it will be nice and smooth. You don't want to sand this inner piece, um, but you want this to be a tiny bit thicker than the wheel itself. So if you can sand this down and have this to be a little thicker, you could use some uh, material like plastic or cardboard, cardstock, and place on top of it before assembling. I use clamps, staples, sorry. Um, I have this uh, stapler that I'm using. And honestly, I do recommend buying one of these. Uh, you can get staples in different lengths. Uh, this one is for four, six, eight or 10 millimeter staples. Um, but, but you can find a ton of these on Amazon. This is from my hardware shop in uh, Sicily, but you can find them anywhere. So for assembling, you want to take the back. I pre-stained these with mahogany and I always finish off my back on everything. Place the wheel on top of the bag. Um, I'll take some super glue. This is Gorilla super glue. Add a tiny drop. Make sure that you don't over pour and get uh, glue stuck on the edges because then your wheel will get stuck. Take it and align it to the back. Push down this one. And again, I could now glue a piece of cardboard, fabric, plastic, whatever, to make just this tiny bit of distance. But I'm using my clamps, staples, sorry. Um, and I just randomly give it a few like that. And I don't know if you can see it, but it makes just a tiny bit of 
distance. So once that's done, I could use my super glue again, but I know that my regular wood glue um, will seal the clamps easier. So I'll add a drop of this, and again, don't go outside the edge or your wheel will get stuck. This is the magnet version, so there's not much to align to, so you just align it to the round. And I'll actually just add a drop of super glue just to make it dry a little faster. Like that. And I'm doing this because I'm making the tutorial. Otherwise, I would just use the wood glue. Um, I'll have to fetch some clams. Just a second. Again, make sure it's aligned. And use some clamps to hold it. to get this dry and I'll show you how to layer. So I'll just proceed and assemble the other ones. And it's the same principle with the hangers and the smaller ones. Place the wheel, add a drop of glue. Place it inside. Make sure everything is aligned. Take a staple and pull through, and for these you just need one. So since this is the magnet, you will have to align the heart to the hanger. Sorry, it's not the magnet, since this is the tag. <laughs> Oops, and I already got glue on my wheel, which is bad, you don't want to have glue. On the wheel and I actually think I want one more stable as well like that and again just a drop of glue and I'll give it a drop of my fast drying super glue Align the heart to the hanger, like that, and also make sure that it's aligned to the edge. Find some clamps, I have some small ones here. For the smaller version, I recommend that you use a piece of tape once you've cut, off, cut out the hearts. Just tape them down so they don't um, fall down to your honeycomb. Let's take this one. Oops, I'll just use the soup glue. Oh. 
Rule and the Stables. A Breath of Super Glue. And again, this is a hanger, so I want to align the heart with the hanger and also the sides. This one was stained as well. I did use a metallic uh, acrylic marker for the heart and the cupid, also for the layering. But if you have some beautiful wood, these can be made in no time. I only have poplar plywood. And it honestly doesn't engrave very well. So that's why I love the scored version. But a lot of you ask for engraved versions, so here it is. Let's see if I have more of these small clumps. So these that doesn't have a hanger is meant for magnets. So you could turn it over. I prefer to arrange the magnets as the heart is turning. And since this is round, I use two because I'm using round magnets. You can use any magnets, um, but if you're using round, use two because if you just place one in the center, the whole thing will uh, turn when you're spinning it on the fridge. So I'll add two drops of glue. Place the magnets. And just hold them for 10 seconds. The magnets I'm using are something I found in my hardware shop as well. But they are so thick, so I really need to find some other ones. And for this one, since I'm using the small clamps, I might as well glue the layering on top. And as I said, I made these scored hearts for aligning. So that's the hearts. For the cupid, make sure that you don't get his feet too close to the edge because then it could have problems with the sliding. Um, also, don't get glue on the feet because you could get him stuck to the actual spinner. So 
um, he should be placed somewhere around this. <coughs> I could add the hearts on this one as well. Just add a drop of glue inside the scored markings. And if you want, you could remove the scored markings and just place the hearts as you wish. You could also engrave them if you want. And the same goes for the heart on top. Make sure that you don't glue it to the actual ornament. So I'll just add glue on the upper part and keep some distance from the wheel. Like that. So let's get these dry. I think this might be dry. So once they are dry, you want to move your lever and see if it moves freely. This one does. So I'll just continue with the layering. And this one is the bigger magnet, so I'll add magnets to this one as well. And as said, I like to keep the magnets with the heart, so I'm holding my finger on the tip of the heart. Take my magnets. That's one. And that's two. I don't know if two is enough for the bigger ones, but I'll find out once they are dry. So, that's the big magnet. Final step is the layering on the big tag or ornament if you're having a um, Valentine's tree. Some people make trees to decorate all year. So this one would be perfect for a Valentine's tree. And again, make sure that you don't get cupid too close to your edge. Let's see if he's still sliding. He is.
There's the three hearts. And that's it. All four assembled in about 15 minutes. I was speaking in between. So they are easy to assemble for sure. Files can be found in my Etsy shop and on allstars.com. Uh, for more tutorials, uh, follow my YouTube channel or my Facebook helping group that's called Laser Up with Mima Design, Mima Design Laser Files. I'll see you soon again.